Welcome to another Weldon VMUX Diagnostics tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about viewing network communications. For this tutorial, I'm going to build a small VMUX network with two Vista nodes and a mini node. I have my cable that goes to my laptop, and then I have a tap that's going to go to the network, a T, Vista harness, backbone, my second T, another Vista harness, backbone, another T, my harness to my mini node, a few connectors, some cabling and wires, an input output test board for my mini node. Now that we have all the components, building the network is pretty simple. Start with your laptop connection, run that into your tap, run that to a T, Vista, next T, Vista, next T, mini node, I.O. board, set up your power, program your nodes, and you're ready to go. VMUX commands are the digital equivalent of sense wires. Inputs, such as rocker switches, are wired into inputs on a VMUX node. When a switch is turned on or off, a command that represents that state is sent out on the network for all the other nodes to hear. There are two types of commands sent on the VMUX network. Digital commands, which comprise of a name and a state, such as ignition on or ignition off, and analog commands, which consist of a name and data, voltage 3.5. Let's look at a digital command in action. When I press this button, we can see the other Vista light up and an output lights up. That's because when I press the button, a digital command went out on the VMUX network. The command went to each node, and when the nodes received the command, they acted on what their program was. In this case, the second Vista shows that the button is on, and the mini 4x12 turns on output 8. We're going to press the button again. This time, the command will be sent as off. We can see that the second Vista now shows the button as off, and the mini 4x12 has now turned the output off. Let's take a look at analog commands. As I rotate this potentiometer, I'm changing the inside temperature. However, the system is only reading inside temperature every five seconds. So at the end of five seconds, the current position of the potentiometer is red and displayed on the Vistas. Digital commands will be displayed here, with the most recent command at the bottom. To clear this screen, press the Clear Message button, the red X, at the top on the toolbar row. To stop new messages from coming in, hit the Disconnect button. For this example, we're going to start with all the inputs off. When I give power to the system, we can see that in Diagnostics, the nodes are powering up, but no commands have been sent. Nothing is on. When I flip the switches, you can see the commands coming across the network, and the LEDs turning on, and on the Vista screens, door showing open. If I remove power, yet leave the physical inputs on, and put power back on, because the switches are in the on state, when the node powers up, it will detect that they are on, and send the commands again. Every time the system starts up, it checks all inputs to see what is on and what is off. Analog commands will be displayed here. As new data is received, the value will be updated. Analog data is read in samples. An OEM can choose from a sample of 0.5 seconds, 1.5 seconds, 3 seconds, 5 seconds, and 10 seconds. Let's take a look at analog commands and diagnostics. The inside temperature is starting off at 150 degrees. As I move the potentiometer around, the 5 second sample occurs and I am now at 118. Move it around again, 148. And as you see, as I move the potentiometer around, every 5 seconds the temperature is resampled and the value is updated. This process will go on every five seconds throughout the whole power cycle. This concludes Weldon's VMUX Diagnostics Viewing Network Communications tutorial. If you need further assistance or have any questions, please give our customer service team a call 